Hey Sagittarius, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a little weekly reading for you. And we're just going to take a look at whatever random messages would like to come through. All right, so the teal deck, that's going to be you. And the gold deck, that is going to represent your person. All right, so... All right, there we go. These decks are decks that I've created over the years, so we're going to use these decks for the actual messages that come through. Okay, and the messages might be from you to your person, your person towards you. It might be a message that both of you are avoiding or a message that you share between the two of you. Lots of shuffling today. One more. All right, let's get started. All right, so Sag, this is you. This is your energy. Oh my goodness, Seven of Swords. Did you run away from somebody? Are you hiding something from somebody? All right, or do you feel that energy from somebody? Are you feeling deception from somebody? Or do you feel somebody is running away from you? All right. You are facing this person. What do we have for this person? Look at that. We have Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is card of Sagittarius. So um, I will tell you that whatever message we get here, this is a message that the two of you are sharing between each other. So it's a message that you might say to them and they might say to you as well. All right. So this person is a little bit confused as to what to expect from you, Sagittarius, okay? They don't know what direction you're going in. They don't know. They feel kind of all over the place. Like they don't know what to what direction to go in when it comes to you. They may not know what to think or feel when it comes to you. All right, so let's find out. All right, seven of wands. I feel like they they defend their connection to you, maybe to themselves, maybe to other people, but they, I feel like they believe in their connection or relationship with you. They would defend it. <clears throat> so let's see what this is about for you. Look at that. Seven of wands, seven of wands. All right. You're defending, you're defending something here too. You're defending, um, you know, whatever, whatever may not be seen as true. Um, you're defending your actions. You're defending your thoughts. You're defending how you're thinking about this person. And they are defending, clearly defending you and how, you know, their belief in you. So that's interesting. So let's see what's the message here. A life-changing conversation that brings positive change. <clears throat> All right, so this might be something that both of you are thinking about. Both of you are wanting a, a life-changing conversation that brings about some positive changes between the two of you. And then we have an unmistakable connection. So this is something that you're both thinking, that there is an unmistakable connection here between the two of you. Both of you, I feel like, would um, defend the other person. Um, yeah, so let's see. <clears throat> and then we've got marriage and divorce. So somebody might be married in this situation. Somebody might be going through a divorce. There might be a separation here between the two of you because of a marriage or because of a divorce. <coughs> Excuse me. 
All right, so let's uh, continue with the messages. Okay, so you have the Nine of Swords. So you might be worried about something that has happened in the past between the two of you or something that is going to happen in the future. All right, this says that you're not in very present energy. You're worried about something. So what else do we have here? We have the Strength card. Um, I almost feel like you're worried as to whether or not you're going to have the strength to to do something or get through something. Right now, I'm feeling like whatever message comes through is probably going to come from you. And then we have the Six of Wands for this person. <clears throat> so I feel like this person believes in a potentially good outcome here. Six of Wands is a card of victory in love, but it also has ego attached to it, all right? So, you know, this could be an internal victory, meaning just the two of you, or this could be an external victory where this person wants to show you off in some way, all right? So let's see what else we get here. And we have the Devil, card of Capricorn. So you might be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, if not then this card is basically saying that um, the devil is the shadow side of the lovers. So I feel like the devil portion of this bond between the two of you is um, there's something to do with, with this person's ego a little bit. Um, maybe this person came at you uh, in some way from an, a place of ego at one point, okay? But still, I feel like this next message is coming from you. So let's see, what do we have here? A declaration that what you thought was true was true. Okay, so this might be you making a declaration towards this person. Or this person, when you talk to this person, confirms something that you always thought was true. All right, so what else do we have here? Getting my way was top priority, and I'm sorry for that. So that's that might be something that you're saying to this person. Um, but again, this is that ego energy. So it might be some shared energy here. I feel like both of you could probably say that to each other, and it would make sense. All right. So what do we have here? Assumptions. So this situation in some way is based in assumptions. <clears throat> um, you're making assumptions, they're making assumptions, and, you know, according to, to this, somebody's assumptions were probably, were probably right on, okay? All right, so continuing on, let's get another card for you, Six of Swords. So I feel like you want to move away from something that was, to something that could be is what I'm feeling from this. And then we've got Queen of Pentacles, another card of Capricorn. Are you moving towards a Capricorn? Or if not towards a Capricorn, are you moving towards something that feels more authentic for you? So you might be moving away from something that felt disingenuous, um, you know, we had that Seven of Swords right off the beginning, at the beginning for you. So something that wasn't true, something that was a lie, something that didn't feel right. You know, you might have, you might be getting a divorce. All right. So, but you're moving towards something that feels more authentic for you, that feels better. That's a better place for you. All right. So over here for this person, what do we have? Queen of Pentacles. So what does this say? So whatever is more authentic for you is this person. Okay. And again, maybe a Capricorn. Okay. Let's see. What do we have? Seven of Pentacles. This is basically saying that whatever is more authentic for you is what is next for you, and it feels like it's this person. Boom. All right? And 
I don't feel like for this message, I feel like neither one of you are aware of whatever message is coming here. The universe connects the dots for you in an unexpected way. All right, so unexpected way says neither one of you see this coming. And then what do we have? Meeting you was not in vain. So there was a reason that the two of you, that the two of you met. All right. And then we have a loss. So <clears throat> the reason that the two of you met might have been to, the two of you might have had to experience losing each other first before you could really appreciate gaining each other is what it feels like. All right. I'm going to pull another one for you. There we have it. You had to experience a loss in order to have this love relationship that I feel like is coming in an unexpected way because it's coming from an authentic place. All right. All right, Sagittarius, that is what I have for you. If you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, certainly reach out to me. If not, no worries. I will talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye.